What's up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome to the channel. Guys, we're going to be taking on Sinsaro's Marsh level 10 today. But just before we do that, we need to make sure we set this up correctly. So we're going to come out, main page, click on your avatar, go to method, and make sure you untick virtual joystick to finger. Um, I tried it on the phone, I tried it on my PC, and it just, it sucks. Um, it's just so weird. It just doesn't make sense. It's easier just to drag with your finger onto the targets and just drop the joystick. It's just weird. It just doesn't work. Don't use it. So let's come back to Sinsaro's Marsh, level 10. And we're going to do this on manual. So I'll show you how to set it up in a sec. So we've got three energy champions or AOE damage dealers. Um, Car Moore is probably the worst, um, but I still use him. <laughs> I have a soft spot for him. Ravenar is a beast and a hard carry. Falvla, she's okay. She's kind of average. Oak is our tank. It doesn't need to be Oak. Um, you can use Leo or any other tank. And Serena is a hard carry for this. So she's amazing. Um, I made a big mistake early on in the game where I sold her. Do not sold her. I fooded her. Do not food this champion. She's actually pretty good. I think it's just she looks terrible. She has a terrible skin, but she's a good champion. Uh, for the commander, we want to use Grace. Um, she's going to increase damage that AoE damage dealers do. So that's amazing. And then we're using um, Pain, Power Word, um, as one of our prototypes. Uh, Ultima Ring, these ones don't matter so much because that's just going to be for our tank. And then uh, Cor Coronate. Coronate is just for healing. So that's all good. But it's mainly about uh, Power Word of Pain. Because that, again, this is all for our, our AOE uh, damage dealers. So let's max it out. And here we go, guys. So you want to click Auto. Make sure you turn off all of your um, AOE damage dealers. So all the energy champions. We've turned it off. And now you just need to focus the eggs and the spiderlings. I prioritize the eggs first. With a car more. Oh, oh, and I've messed up. Oh, I can that's one thing I don't like is if you accidentally mistime it, you can't undo what you've done. So yeah, they'd be good if there's like a little council button. So Ravenar, you're gonna watch this. She just is a beast when it comes to this. Like, literally just constantly popping off, taking out the eggs, taking out the spiderlings. Uh, Carmore, I will literally just use him all the time throughout the fight. His fireballs just bounce around and they will hit the targets as well. So that's great. So yeah, taking out the spiderlings, taking out the spiders and the eggs. That's it, all down. We're fine. We're, we're doing this pretty comfortably. And Carmel, I'm literally just using him the entire time through the fight. Um, he's, he's just helping do damage on the boss and on its, like, minions. So 50%, halfway there, guys. Okay, so eggs first, then these spiderlings, and then Carmel's going to bounce his fireball around. And the fireball's going to hit the spiderlings as well, so it does help. And again, Ravenar just coming in clutch. 33%. And we're just going to hold onto these, the ults. You know, we don't want to get caught short at the last hurdle. Almost there. And I feel like... Okay, so the boss is at 8% HP. We're going to use all the ults on the boss. Let's just nuke her down granada and that's it easy easy win so let's just look at the stats so grace did 4.6 mil that's a lot of damage in fact that was almost more than any of our heroes so like ravenar 3.3 mil uh, falva 3 mil and then 
my boy Koi, uh, Carmel, who a lot of people tell me he's trash, did 6.4 mil. He is more evolved than the others. Um, but I, I really like him. I think he's a good champion, uh, hero. So I'm so used to calling them champions. So let's check out the builds, guys. So uh, Carmel, he doesn't need to be this um, far evolved. Um, I did do this at a lower level. I just didn't film it. So yeah, you could probably get away with him being um, maybe mythical. Uh, but yeah, he doesn't need to be that far evolved. Um, the gear I've got him is pretty good and he does have pretty insane stats. Uh, yeah, crit rate on the gloves, attack percentage on the headpiece, ideally on the boots as well, but we've only got HP. It's the best that I can get. So 8k attack, 27% crit rate, and then 6.6 .6 crit damage. So uh, Falvar is lacking a little bit behind, to be honest. Um, let's see. So she's got four pieces, uh, Sun Signet, and then a broken set as well. Would like to switch it out when we can. Crit rate on the gloves, attack percentage on the head, and then oh, flat stats on the boot. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't roll that up. So you can see big stat difference between her and Carmel. So 3.7k attack, that is going to be why there's such a big damage difference. 62% crit rate though, and then no crit damage to be honest. And then who else did we have? So, and then we got Professor Oak. And yeah, so he's in uh, six pieces, Vigorious, so full Vigorious set. And we just want basically HP on him. And if we can't get HP, defense or anything like that, uh, damage reduction as well, that's all going to help. So we are rocking 22. No, 226k HP and then no damage reduction. But um, still, that's all that matters on him. He, he's quite low as well. Um, what is he? He's an elite. We need to bump him up. Just need to pull some copies of him. So Serena is mythic. Um, again, you could get away with her being much, much lower. We do have her in, um, well, uh, one abundance set. And yeah, that increases her healing. This is an amazing um, set, especially for healers. And we're just looking for basically HP and defense. Um, shame about the flat stats on the headpiece, but it's not the end of the world. I just need some better gloves. I don't think I've got any mythical... Ah... Okay, so I can replace that. I'll level that up later in my own time. But yeah, 151k HP. Um, that's that's pretty much the only stat we need to worry about on her. And last but not least is Ravenar. Uh, elite plus one. She's been sitting there for a long time. Uh, I do not see me putting a copy anytime soon. So again, we've got four pieces um, Sun Signet, and then we've got two pieces Overload. So we're just going for crit rate, crit damage. Um, so yeah, crit damage on the gloves, nice. And we've got subs in crit rate. Tap percentage on the chest piece. And then, yeah, flat defense on the boots. Uh, I just don't have, I just don't, I don't have better boots at the moment. I mean, maybe I could try. Oh, so maybe I could swap out these overload boots. Actually, let's yeah, let's put those on. And maybe I've got a better chest piece for Sun Signet. Yeah, I do. Okay. So yeah, let's just take this one. Again, I'll level that up in my own time. But yeah, that's gonna improve the build massively. It's quite low on stats. Like only you know, two point eight k attack. I mean, 41% crit rate is nice. 58% crit damage. Well, that is like probably for crit damage and stuff. That is probably the best stats I've got on my account at the moment. And when we sort of live up this gear, our attack is going to go up a lot. Plus, when I get more copies of Ravenar, she's going to be an absolute beast. 
So yeah, that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope this helps you guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure to smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll catch you all in a video soon. Peace.